All right, everybody. Well, hello. Welcome in. This is the first reading of 12 that you're going to see in this video. It's all time stamped. There's links below so you can click right over to whatever you're looking for. All these readings are Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so I'm going to start with Gemini. We're almost at Gemini time. Happy birthday to Gemini. So this is mid-May we're talking about. We'll go Gemini all the way around to Taurus. There is an extended for each one of these. Any zodiac signs that I see in these readings, I am going to call out. Um, if you have questions about your chart, about your life, about what you're doing, I have a group called Pathfinders. And we do, every Thursday we do a Q&A. So if you want to join, uh, it's a great place to get your questions answered um, and talk about your North Node or whatever, whatever you're interested in, in figuring out. That is a great place to do it every Thursday. Very lively conversation. It's all driven by your Q&A. Well, your Q, and I'll give you the A, all right? So let's see. Gemini, what is up with you? All right. <sighs> Bloom where you're planted. Very appropriate for mid-May. Uh, see through the perfectly purple lens of your galactic destiny. There's some clarity coming. That's nice. You decided to wake up or else why would you draw me? All right. So some of you are really stepping into your purpose. Okay. And that is such a beautiful energy. Finally getting to the place where you know what you're doing, you know where you're going. Some of you might just be waking up to this. All right. I mentioned the North Node. And a lot of you have taken my North Node class. I've taught it to hundreds of people now. But if you want the North Node, the North Node is your karmic pathway in this life. You might want to check that out. I definitely feel like there's something in here about karmic pathway or, you know, whatever comes up. It does seem that there might have been a block to it at one point, like you weren't really seeing it, but now you're seeing it or you're going to be seeing it. Okay, so let's see. All right, Gemini. I don't know why I got block. I got blo the, the look of a block. So, ah, <laughs> seven of wands. Well, there you go. All right, seven of wands is the look of a block to me. Seven of swords. Five of wands. Lots of resistance here. Knight of swords. Knight of cups. Six of pentacles. Wow, hierophant. Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands. Gemini, either you have been resisting your karmic path with a partner. You've been resisting it. Maybe they lied to you. Maybe there was some conflict. Um, but there has been a lot of resistance up until now, maybe for the last five or six years even, real resistance to this person or to this coupling coming together at any point like no 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 that person is out of my life i'm not interested in them at all i gotta tell you this person is destined on your path so welcome back all right now there's been this time period where i feel like you have had to had this break this was a necessary break in order for you to find out who you are, find out your own, um, you know, sovereignty, figure that out for yourself. Um, for some of you, you were dealing with a person who was not able to give back, who was not available for some reason. They were not available. And now they are. Okay. I see them as Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant, that is a commitment. Six of Pentacles is balance. All of this Seven of Swords and Five of Wands and Knight of Swords, you might be a little bit um, pissed that I'm saying this. I'm just saying. You might be a little bit upset like, oh, what? I don't really want to hear about this person. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let me clarify. Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. Sorry about that. 
can't be standing out there barking. Okay. Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, and the King of Cups. I mean, this person's your person. Okay. And you, some of you have been fighting it. All right. Some of you have been lying to yourself. Some of you have been resisting this. Uh, there likely was other people involved and that led you to believe that there was cheating going on that led you to believe. And even if there was some kind of lie or some kind of direction by a person, it either predated you or it was something that was not really about you. I'm just saying, I feel like this person did have a lot of issues, have a lot of resistance, really was fighting it. Um, for some of you, I feel like this person fell in love with you and everything that they did was about fighting commitment, really fighting it. Okay. And now it's like the, the world has opened up the possibility where this can get together finally. And I feel like some of you are like, I'm not sure why I was resisting this, but now I'm not resisting this anymore. And the person who, I mean, this could be for a small number of you, that the person who was really resisting it stopped resisting it, but the person who was really making the problem, who whichever one of you it was, has stopped doing that. I feel like there was anger, there was resentment, there was something at the core of this that um, brought about so much conflict, so much conflict. And now that's being balanced. You know how it's being balanced? By love. Because there was love there, there is love there still. After all you've been through, there's love there still, okay? and. Now, Hierophant, we can make this real. Look at this. Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands. This person is, I don't know if a life partner, we can see about longevity here, but this definitely feels like there's commitment, there's love, there's relationship, there's, you know, oh my God, Ten of Cups, King of Wands. All you had to do was ask. I think all you had to do was ask and... This person stopped doing what they were doing. Um, let me clarify the Seven of Swords here because, uh, you know, I feel like, um, or the Seven of Wands and the, seven, and the Five of Wands. Eight of Cups, High Priestess, Six of Cups, Nine of Wands. This person kind of bounces back and forth. I feel like they walked away at one point and there was no talkie for a really long time. They did come back, but there's still like a, um, there was still some kind of thing between you that made it not possible to clear this up. What cleared it up is finally the person who was resisting finally turned around and said, you know what? I'm stop. I'm not going to resist anymore. That changed the whole game. I know game, not really a game. I don't want to call it a game, but it changed everything. The person who was resisting so, so much. They did bad stuff. They they did everything they could to resist this. Not doing it anymore. They've just realized what a stupid thing it is. And maybe it's because the world is kind of in upheaval now and everything like that. It's like the constructs we've created, gone. So there is a person here who is going to come back around to you and be like, you know what? I screwed up. I screwed up. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. I will look at, you might be dealing with a Taurus, a Sag, a Pisces, a Cancerian, a Cancerian. All right, I do feel like the Sag might be the, there might be some really strong Sag here because of King of Wands, Sag, Aries, Leo kind of thing. There might be some very strong fire energy with this person for you. If it's not fire energy, um, you know, in terms of their signs or something, it's terms of their passion. All right, my darlings, I'm going to continue on with, with this Gemini. The link is below if you want to continue on with me. Otherwise, the Cancerian reading will start right now. All right, Cancerians, let's see what is going on for you. This is your mid-May reading. 
Uh, feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to do a little bit of a different spread here for you. <sighs> All right. What is going on? What is going on for my cancer friends? The alchemical artist. I always, that makes me happy, that sign. Or that card always makes me happy. A light grows brighter only by lighting another. For sure. And fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. Um, so some of you, it does make me feel a little bit like what's being asked of you is to let your light shine. I know you guys are really good. Uh, I just did a video about Mercury retrograde and the signs, through the signs, and Mercury in Cancer can have a tendency to listen too much, like get people who kind of dump their, uh, all of their, whatever, positive, negative, whatever, but being a dumpster for other people's feelings. And so it's time to like be mindful of that during Mercury retrograde that people could um, come to you, a lot of them come to you, uh, but just make sure you're balancing out, okay? Uh, ten, of, 10 of Wands right there. And uh, let's see where we go with the spread. All right. Um, okay. All right. Let's see. Page of Wands underneath. Wow, you're showing up as the Ten of Cups. Didn't I just almost say the Ten of Cups just a second ago? Uh, situation is Temperance, Opportunity, Two of Swords. Hermit, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Okay, so Cancerians, I feel like you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Sag, or an Aries. I will look at those signs in the extended. I feel like you might be blocking a new opportunity because <sighs> some of you might be isolating too much or might be very... Um, you know, happy to be in your home. Uh, but the thing is that I, I feel like it, you could go overboard with that. And it's really time to get yourself out a little bit more. Okay. So you're showing up as this 10 of cups and 10 of cups. I saw the 10 of wands during my shuffle here. And this does, you know, it's like super duper happy and joyful and a very beautiful energy. So you're coming across as very, very happy and very, very content. Now, this might be a future thing. If you're not feeling that way, just, just you know, drop a comment. I want to know what's going on with you. But I also feel like this is, this is potential. This is opportunity. And, you know, it is for the happy home. It is for the happy uh, partnership and all of that. The universe is working on bringing this into you. Something very, very happy. And... For some reason, there's a, 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 a an internal focus for you that may have you missing this opportunity. And some of you may feel like very satisfied and happy right now or are manifesting something that's very happy and, and, and successful for you. Uh, but you may be missing some signs. Okay, so I want you to pay attention more uh, because there's some opportunities that are going to come across your path at work, likely, um, or in your life. And see how he has his back to the Ace of Pentacles? Might not be paying enough attention to what's going on. And um, that's an important thing to pay attention to. There's also this beautiful energy of Virgo here. Uh, Virgo is exalted in Mercury. We are in Mercury retrograde time, so I do want to be mindful of this. And this is also about being a loner. This is about being, um, you know, kept to yourself a little bit too much. And again, a back to this Ace of Pentacles. So this is really uh, calling on you. This is, you know, the outcome is the Aries card. To be bold, to be um, uh, taking action, taking chances. Eh, I don't know, not chances, but taking a risk take a risk an external risk because i do feel like there's good things coming in here and what's going on underneath is the page of wands so some of you might be so focused on family and children uh 
that you might be missing an opportunity at work. You might be missing a, um, a chance to really grow in your career. And you're not really even aware that this is going on because you're so internally focused, all right? So that's something that's going on for cancer right now. Let me clarify um, this Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups, celebration. There's Mercury, the magician. There you are, Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. Again, um, I almost feel like you're turning your back on something, okay? Uh, you could be turning your back literally on a Virgo, a Sag, or an Aries, or a Gemini. Could be doing that. Uh, some of you could be um, very focused on your family and not paying attention to other parts of your life. Some of you could see a person as a friend and not think of them as a life partner, and you're missing it. So, Cancer, it's time to really sharpen your, pow your powers of observation <laughs> and see what's going on around you. Pay more attention to what's going on around you because life is trying to seed some new opportunities and you know what? While we're in Mercury retrograde, that's it's a possibility that um, you know it's not you know Mercury retrograde is not a time to sign contracts. It's not a time to do anything like that. But I feel like this is more about less less about resisting something and more about just not really seeing it, not really letting yourself be observant enough. So that could happen because. Um, you could be too involved with the, th the current situation in your life and not really welcoming in the new thing. I feel like there's, there's a friend in your midst that is somebody who could turn into a life partner or could turn into a business partner or something like that. It is about taking a risk. It is about letting yourself see beyond what you normally um, attribute to the events and people and conversations around you. It's about seeing subtext, what people are not saying, what people are not pointing out. You have to be a little more observant, okay? Because something good is really trying to come in. I'm gonna continue on with this. You might be dealing with, I will get cards for Sag, Aries, Gemini, and Virgo. All right, Cancer, so the link is below if you want to uh, continue on with this reading, and I'll see you over there. Otherwise, the Leo reading starts right now. Okay, Leo, let's get going. What's going on for Leo mid-May 2022? What is going on for you? What is going on for you, my darlings? All right, one more, please for Leo beautiful how can this be a wonderful win 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 kind of nice energy there oh I saw this when I was shuffling your 111 year old self very nice write this into reality this is a manifestation uh, coming from internal wisdom which is really beautiful all right so some of you have um, some wonderful opportunities coming in because you have manifested them and you might be realizing a few dreams this mid-May. Um, it's don't forget to continue to manifest, continue to do this work because um, you're constantly manifesting, right? You're constantly uh, putting things into the void, into the void, into the, um, into the vortex, as Abraham Hicks uh, says, you're constantly putting things into that vortex. So be sure you're putting in things in the vortex that are based on your own uh, wisdom, the wisdom of the ancestors, something like that. This might be an ancestor message for Leo, so we'll see. Oh my goodness. Underneath is the tower. Look at this. Wish granted. Suddenly, wish granted. Beautiful energy. Six of Swords anchored by the Six of Pentacles. King of Wands, anchored by the Page of Wands. The Hermit, there's that 111-year-old self, anchored by the Three of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles, anchored by the Ten of Wands. So this is a lot about hard-fought wisdom, right? It's like hard-earned, the school of hard knocks kind of thing. You have earned this, Leo. You have earned this. And even though 
Um, so whatever you have been manifesting comes along suddenly. It, you may not uh, be aware of what you're manifesting, but I do feel like it's a positive thing. I think it's something that is based on going through a lot of things and recognizing the the gift of that kind of wisdom so we have the six of swords here moving along swimmingly right and it's largely because leo you have really balanced yourself out six of pentacles you have been um really doing some good work on uh, good work on yourself you have been uh paying attention to what you need what you want and what you are manifesting is based on that so it's not like you're um it's not like this is good well it is going to be a surprise i feel like the tower might have something to do with um is it possible that you have cut yourself off from other people you might have been very directional in what you're doing in your life and at a moment at a moment you just kind of let down your guard and then bam what you want really comes in this does happen that we're so focused on what we want to create when you turn your attention just away from it bam that's when it arrives and i think that's what's happening here so if there's been something that you have been really wanting to manifest in your life and you get distracted by something else, just know that the universe is doing that <laughs> on purpose, okay? There's something about whatever you get distracted with, uh, it's like you have been so on it, like a dog with a bone, and that is resistance energy. So turning your attention to something new is gonna be productive, okay? So you should know that. It is a balancing kind of thing to just keep moving forward, to just keep you know, working on doing what you're doing and releasing attachment to something. Some of you may be manifesting uh, career success, right? King of Wands is very Leo-esque, right? Um, and very powerful. You could be calling in another fire sign, okay? You could be calling in another fire sign. So in the extended, I'll look at Aries, Leo, Sag. You could be another Leo too, and Virgo. This is very inspirational. You know, this this mid-month, you might get inspired by learning new things or shifting your attention to something else. The thing is that this is really coming from inside. All right, your direction, like you may think this is totally random, but your subconscious is really driving this shift away from being so focused on something into a, a like kind of a more creative place, a more fun place, a more joyful place. And your conscience or your subconscious, subconscious um, is moving you off of a thing in order for you to be able to manifest it. Some of you have been really focused on the thing that you want, but in a negative way, okay? In a way of like, I don't want that, right? So it's, it's like you're manifesting from a negative place. So the universe is trying to push you off of this into a place of wisdom from it so that you're seeing, okay, this makes me feel like um, you might have had a relationship or a situation that was really not good for you. And it was like, I didn't want to be defeated by it. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to lose. I didn't want to be the one who said, yeah, I was wrong. I didn't want to be the one who got stabbed in the back. I didn't want to be the one who got hurt with another person. And so there's this sense of um, manifesting from a negative perspective, but it's a shift. You're shifting into this place of wisdom. So it's no longer about fear. It's no longer about, oh, I don't want to create that. Now it's about uh, wisdom and kind of excitement about what the new thing is, what's coming next, right? Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, willing to be open to these new messages um, because like the hurt has kind of mellowed or something. You're no longer really feeling so completely overwhelmed by the negativity or the feeling that, uh-oh, uh-oh, right? Like that kind of feeling. Let me clarify the three of swords here. Just one card, please. And the 10 of wands. The three of swords clarified by the king of cups and the 10 of wands 
clarify the Ten of Pentacles. My goodness. Some of you in the past may have been um, really, really hurt by a partner, by, you know, a marriage, something that really uh, out, outstayed its welcome or was very hurtful. And, you know, you retain the pain, but you're not retaining any of the goodness of it. You're not really seeing the, the um, um, silver lining. And so your wisdom is basically asking you, see the silver lining, even if something in the past was very hurtful. See the silver lining of it. You're not there anymore, first of all. Or that what did you what came from it? Maybe your children came from it. Maybe your sense of resilience that I can, you know, I can do anything because I got myself out of a tough situation, right? Whatever it is, whatever you learned from a situation, take the positive and make that the wisdom. Because I think the, um, you know, having something be like, oh, I don't want to go there can kind of get you stuck. And you can kind of think you're going to recreate the same thing over and over again. But I don't think the universe is trying to bring that in. I think the universe is saying to you, you are resilient. You have learned. You have created wisdom for yourself. And so let's learn some new stuff. Let's go in a new direction. There's just this opening up, all right, which I really love. And quite suddenly, a sudden opening to a new life or a sudden opening to something that you have been trying to manifest from a place of negativity and Leo, you're really now seeing yourself as being excited at the possibility. Okay. So I'm going to look at Virgo, Aries, Leo, or Sag. You could be dealing with any of those. Uh, link is below Leo. If you want to continue with me, otherwise Virgo starts right now. All right, Virgo, what's happening for you? Let's see what's going on. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Virgo. This is mid-May 2022. Let's see what's happening for my Virgo friends. What wants to show up for you right now? All right, Soul Giraffe. This is about getting the big picture. <laughs> I do love that card. Three, two, one, jump. Beautiful. That's really beautiful energy. Each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. So this is a, a feeling of like taking a risk, kind of pulling back, seeing the big picture, and you're on the precipice of something new. Let's see which deck do I want to use. I'll use this. You're on the precipice of something new here, and I do feel like you've done your homework. All right, so the soul giraffe, a little bit Aquarian energy about uh, big picture thinking and being kind of um, dispassionate about something, wanting to, you know, take the next step, wanting to do something new. Um, each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. That's a, t that's a, a big ask. Because really what it's saying is like, you're no longer that person. You're now becoming somebody new. And some people really love that kind of evolutionary turn and some people don't. All right. So six of wands underneath. Look at you. Ten of cups. Seven of cups. Judgment. Wow. Six of cups. Four of cups. King of wands. Virgo. Uh, Virgo. Yes. Uh, fool. Five of swords. And there's the Virgo energy of Knight of Pentacles. So interesting. Um, I don't know why I said Virgo when I pulled the Fool. I guess that must be the feeling of the reading to me is taking, um, you know, jumping into something new. I feel like you should be careful, though, honestly, because there's been some good things happening. There's definitely been some good things happening. Ten of Cups and Six of Cups and the Fool. Some things that are presenting themselves to you can be different than their experience. So if something is presenting itself as the Ten of Cups, yet you're confused by it, hmm, I'm not a huge fan of that, right? It fe That feels to me like it's an illusion, okay? And this person, a little bit bait and switch here, uh, the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups. So instead of really getting the love you're looking for, um, they're giving friendship or this person's coming back around. You've been wanting them to come back around for a long time. 
but you're not really seeing or you're not really getting the offer yet. They're not really saying anything. So this is kind of confusing to you. And I do want to say that the tendency to jump into this will be strong. But look at this. This five of swords makes me feel like um, instead of being a, a, a romantic, instead of being a kind of ready for anything, I feel like what's being asked of you is to listen to your guides. Pay attention to what they're saying. It's like this fool energy, three, two, one, jump. But there's a catch. You're going to have to get rid of or... or it's like you're trading one kind of life for another. Make sure you know where you're going. Make sure you know what you're doing. And I do feel like this new opportunity is going to change you quite a bit. I mean, every opportunity changes us. But there's something here that you're not really seeing, right? You're not really seeing. Um, Five of Swords is a lot about manipulation or it's about... Um, kind of a uh, winner take all feeling and I'm just getting the sense that you're very open to something new this this person or this situation may not be what it seems all right so your guides are trying to tell you trying to wake you up a little bit here I do like this king of wands here but this says to me that you are dedicated to taking some kind of action could be dealing with a um an Aries Leo or Sag Okay, you could be dealing with a person who is not what they seem. So this is about, this is you, okay? Knight of Pentacles is very grounded energy. And before you go jumping off into the great beyond with this person, slow it down. This is Mercury retrograde, okay? This is the time when communication, um, okay. Somebody from the past that you loved might reach out. And I want you to, to curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> I want you to pull back from being super excited about this. Oh my God, they're coming back. This is going to be it. And pull back from that just enough. It might still turn out that way, but I feel like there's more danger to you to just assume that this person reaching out means that there is go going to be a relationship Okay, it doesn't really mean that. I don't think it really means that. So I'm going to get some clarity around this. The Six of Cups person, okay. Um, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Cups here. All right, Virgo, King and Queen of Cups. This is somebody who you believe to be a life partner for you, somebody who you do want to pursue to um, put in the time and effort it's going to require some patience but there's some stuff here all right that makes me go hold on hold on all right please clarify the five of swords for me high priestess raising consciousness five of swords again Queen of Wands. Okay. This person, um, King and Queen of Wands. I get King and Queen of Cups here. Um, I feel like this person wants drama and passion more than they want love. I feel like you're the one that wants love here. Th this person is on likely um, a path that is different from yours. I feel like you're the one who has been, you know, raising consciousness, doing your work and all of those kinds of things. And you almost might feel like this person is a um, reward for doing that work. But I feel like what you might get is this person wants sex. This person doesn't want love. They want um, to, there's a little bit of hit it and quit it here. Okay. So you're being asked to stand your ground don't get too excited. It doesn't mean that they, it won't eventually move forward, but only if you kind of stand your ground and don't get, don't get too, don't get too fantasy driven about this. Um, if this person is someone who is not what they appear to be, there is a hidden agenda here. All right. This person has a hidden agenda. 
So I will explore that more in the extended. There is a little bit of baggage here. It could just be if this is somebody that is a past life person that you don't really know them yet, this could be your fantasy kind of experience that when someone comes across the path and they do look awesome to you, you might go into this fantasy. And I, I feel like what, what the universe is saying to you is stay present. There is a hidden agenda here, so stay present. Okay. All right, I'm going to continue on with this. I will look at Aries Leo Sag. That's a possibility. Also a possibility of Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, so we'll see what comes up. Okay, link is below Virgo um, if you want to continue on with me with this reading. Otherwise, Libra starts right now. Hello, Libra. How are you? Let's see where we go. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see where we go. Any, any zodiac signs that do show up in the reading, I will explore them in the extended. Okay? All right, what's coming up for you guys? Feel free to swap around the energies as always. I could be talking to a cross watcher. So your effortless effort is fully required. In many ways, this is about allowing. It's about the energy of flow, working with the energies, feeling that what's going on around you, feeling the energies in a relationship or whatever, and you know, moving with that. It doesn't mean you have to always agree to it. It just means like, this is the way if you want to create change you got to kind of flow with what's going on and be part of it so that you can affect some change to fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker hmm. that's interesting your greatest work is your legendary legacy so there is something here about putting in some effort but in a state of flow don't go against the tide um Let's see, going against the tide is going to not be helpful. You have to figure out a way. This is diplomacy. I mean, this is like your wheelhouse, okay? And diplomacy is going to be a cosmic change maker right now. That is your legendary legacy is to bring people together, to bring connections together, to bring your relationships together. Um, you have a lot of credit in this area. And I feel like some of you who I'm talking to, um, have done this in the past, have been the peacemakers, have been the people who have brokered agreements between friends, family, whatever. And now it's being asked of you again. Ace of Cups, there's that Dove of Peace. I mean, this is your wheelhouse, really. Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, Strength, dealing with a fire sign, Libra, um, or Aquarius. Here's King of Swords, Hanged Man, and the Ace of Wands. All right, so we have Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. There's new opportunity here, and I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who has kind of a closed mindset, all right? They're like, this is what I'm doing. This is how I feel about it. This is, you know, and I don't think that they're, they're not, it's not that they're wrong or anything, but I also feel like that they are closed to any other opportunities, which is why you're stepping in here and reminding them of the pitfalls. Okay. Five of cups, reminding them of the pitfalls and I feel like some of you have had those pitfalls, have had those experiences of, you know, I'm going to just take my marbles and I'm going to go home. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign who is just unmovable and eight of cups walking toward strength. It's, it's almost like you have, you can't go at a person. You have to wait and allow this person to come to you and they will i think they will aquarius aquarius leo aries sag you just have to wait and give it some time here this person is working through their own nonsense all right they're they are five of swords you know is very manipulative and 
very much a you know winner take all kind of fighting and this is what this person wants to do and I feel like they're not remembering a time when they needed someone to listen to them or they're now they're just being kind of strident in their in their viewpoint and I feel like you just are like okay and you remove yourself from this situation all right I think you I think it's about removing yourself from a situation where the other person just is not listening, is not being part of the conversation. They're just, you know, spewing a lot of um, phrases and statements. It's not really, they're not really grounded in whatever they're wanting to do, or they're not really grounded in any kind of philosophy or anything like that. They just want to win. They just want to be the one who wins. And so it's kind of like, I mean, the King of Swords is, is quite logical and very reasonable, but not if they are dis, this, like, before I even talk to you, I have decided what I'm going to do. I have decided the outcome and that is it. So there's, you know, it's almost like they're afraid to let a new opinion in. And I feel like the answer to this, the hanged man is here about seeing things from a new perspective. I feel like you might've tried to fight with this person before, or you might've tried to get this person, win them over, get this person to see another point of view or something like that. And I feel like the new way of dealing with this is like hands off the wheel. I'm not going, okay, this, I'm not going to push you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to convince you because I can see that the more I do that, the more you are entrenched in your own idea. So I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go <laughs> by now because we've been fighting about this for a long time, or we've been in this argument for a long time and I got to go. So I feel like you might Decide to do something different this time. I feel like you might turn your back on this and walk away. And interestingly enough, that's what works. This person doesn't want you to go. Uh, they, they do want to be right, though. This person wants to be right. And, I mean, this could be you, but I feel like it's this other person. They want to be right. And I, I just feel like this is the, an the answer is like, all right, well, you know what? If, if, <laughs> if you just want to be right, then you can be right all by yourself. How's that? Bye now. And off you go. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. I feel like what you're doing here is you're opening yourself up for new potential. You see how the, you know, you're walking away here, Eight of Cups. And then this, in this deck, the Golden Tarot, that's the Knight of Cups. All right, so the strength card here is you showing real power by releasing, by letting go of it and being like, if that's what you want, then go create that for yourself. But don't expect me to be involved in it. Don't expect me to take part in it. Don't expect me to support it in any way, shape or form. Not doing it. So Libra, this could be individual where you have a relationship and there's a fire sign or an Aquarius here. And you're dealing with that. Or this could be the situation where you're just, you know, tired of fighting with someone who absolutely will not listen. And so it's time to create something new. It's time to create something new for yourself and stop fighting and trying to get this person on your side. I don't really feel like they will be on your side. I feel like they'll be fighting because they're not about compromise. This person's not about compromise. And that's an issue. Because not you do not see eye to eye with this person about something very important. Let me get more clarity around that. Ace of Swords. King of Cups, Four of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. I like this. So whenever I say something, the Ace of Swords jumps out. What I just said, 100%. Okay? What I just said about, like, if you're not seeing eye to eye with this person then it's time to create your own destiny. It's time to create your own relationship, your relationship that has love, that has peace, joy, happiness, clarity. Um, 
this person could be creating a situation of a lack of clarity. They don't want to tell you everything. They don't want to talk about what's going on. They just want you to like kind of trust that, you know, what they're doing is um, their own affair or their own, uh, you know, way of experiencing life. And it's running afoul of yours. And so there's definitely a conflict here. And it's time to go, it's time to go find the thing that is what you're looking for. I think you're trying to create somebody in an image that isn't them. And it's just time to let go of this. I think it's time to let go of this. So I do see uh, the King of Swords here. I'm going to get one thing here. I mean, this could be you. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands. Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune moving forward. Yep, moving forward. Cancer, their energy there. So this person has a closed mind. They believe in what they're doing. They believe that they have the right to do what they're doing. It's not creating harmony or bliss or anything like that. I almost feel like this is you just cutting it off. Just cut it off. And say, speak your truth, Ace of Swords, speak your truth. And then move on. Move on. And, you know, we have this Mercury retrograde going on. And a lot of times there's misunderstandings. I, I feel like you, you go a long way to try to understand. That's not the issue. It's this person is absolutely immovable. Okay. So that's your choice. You can stay here and argue with me till the end of time, or you can just move on. I think it's about moving on. All right. And then I do think what you're creating for yourself is what you're talking about. That comes right in. All right. So let's keep, let's keep looking at this. Uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Aquarius. I do see more Sag over here. And then I see water. I see Pisces and Cancer here. So um, we're moving toward, I feel like you're moving away from a fire sign and toward a water sign. All right. So let's see where we go. All right, Libra, link is below if you want to continue on. I'll see you over there. Otherwise, Scorpio is up next. All right, Scorpio, what's going on with you? Let's see what's happening. This is for mid-May 2022. Let's see what energies are around my Scorpios. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the energies as always. I could be talking to a cross watcher. You know what a cross watcher is? Someone who's not a Scorpio who's watching to see about what another Scorpio is going to do. Okay. So star seed. Polish your mirror for perfect clarity. You're the hero of your cosmic journey. I like this. My camera's all weird right now. All right. A little bit. There we go. Um, so this makes me feel like you're kind of opening up to your destiny to your fate. And we do have free will, but we also have things on our path that are coming across as purpose. So we can learn some things so we can, um, get where we're going. We can, uh, overcome, you know, we've come to, to earth to learn. It's a school. All right. So this is really about you getting on the path of being the hero of your cosmic journey instead of it being just sort of like random nonsense you're really finding your path right now yep ace of cups i love it really finding your path oh my goodness sun nine of cups king of wands wow dealing with an aries leo or sag likely a leo page of pentacles page of wands knight of wands I'm feeling like this is you, like you're right on the precipice of learning new things and being inspired. You might have someone in your life who's a fire sign who's very inspiring. Um, this is someone who has realized some dreams in their life. Okay, eight of pentacles, 10 of wands, and the fool. Uh, some of you are leaving behind a very difficult work situation. So this might be a mentor or a business partner or somebody who is ready to, to um, engage you in some way, could be a love partner, and which I feel like this person really is um, happy and stable and inspirational and solid and 
knowing what they want in life. Uh, I don't feel like, I feel like, you know, you turn, uh, feel free to swap. Okay. If, if you're the one that's nice and happy and stable, uh, you could be attracting in someone who's more like this, who's like ready to make a leap, ready to leave behind an old life that is too much. All right. That is, um, you know, it could be leaving behind a job that's just, let's see the eight of pentacles here with the 10 of wands and the fool ready for something new, ready for adventure. This is Sagittarian energy here. So fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I feel like you're, um, you could, you really could be inspired to start a new business, could be inspiring to other people. And there's just a thing, there's a thing in your way right now. Eight of Pentacles could be about money or could be about time. Like you don't have enough time or something like that. Devil, yes, because this is Saturn energy and Saturn is time. Okay, so devil energy, judgment, seven of swords, nine of swords, two of wands, emperor. Um, it's time to take a risk. You know, this is more fire energy. You know, I feel like they're stealing your time. Either an old partner, an existing partner, somebody who's still in your life, somebody who won't let go, uh, somebody who is, um, I, I'm going to say this, I feel like kind of small potatoes next to you. I feel like you have the potential here to really go big in your life. And it's just this person or this job or something is really holding you back from going big. Um, the reason that that's happening is you're manifesting that because, um, you might not fully believe in yourself yet. You might not think you can create something in your life. So there's a person coming across your path to mirror back to you. Look at how amazing you are. If I can do this, you can do this, that kind of energy. And the thing that's holding you back there, like a job or a person is really stealing your time. They are, they're stealing your time. So the universe is asking you to take a risk. When this person comes across your path, um, page of, so you can uh, learn new things from them, be inspired by them, take action. All right, all of the good things here and move forward. This King of Wands, I got the Emperor here too. Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Page of Swords. This person went through a lot of shit to get where they are, okay? Uh, and they're going to tell you how they did it. This is definitely about you um, becoming the hero, all right? This is about you stepping into using destiny. So astrology, tarot, all these tools, we use these tools to help balance our situation, to help us understand our situation and where are we going? This person is coming in kind of like, hey, knock, knock, knock. It's time for you to let go of these kinds of things or people that are holding you back. I did it. So can you. They're trying to remind you. Okay. They didn't know where they were going either. There's going to be a story here. They, did, they didn't know where they were going. They, you know, maybe have gone through some kind of, uh, you know, their their job kind of collapsed on them or marriage collapsed on them or something like that, but it put them on this path to success. And they're saying to you, you are already uh, learning new things and being inspired and everything. You had it all over me. My beginning was a lot more humble than what you have the opportunity to do. Okay. And it's lovely that you're leaving behind something that is really you know, sucking away your energy, sucking away your time. No, no, no. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue on. I will look at fire signs. I also see Capricorn here. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. There's a lot of fire energy here, or they could be a Capricorn. Okay. All right. Link is below. Capricorn is also the energy of, of your career and work. So that might be it, but I'll take a look at Capricorn too. All right, link is below if you want to continue on with me, Scorpio. I'll see you over there. Otherwise, Sagittarius starts right now. Saggies, it's mid-May. Let's see where we go with you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius. 
middle of May, May 2022. We are in the middle of eclipse right now as I'm doing this video, so FYI. That is a big old light of fire under your butt energy. So let's see where we go here for Sag. What is going on for Sag? Feel free to swap around the energies as always. Could be talking to a cross watcher. So let's see where we go. Answering the call. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Oh, that's what I said. Oh my goodness, absolutely. That eclipse energy is is really loud, if I can just get this card out. Discovering truth, stand in the light of truth. So some of you are waking up to a new beginning, okay? Waking up to a new beginning. This has been a long time coming. Some of you have really been like waiting at the door, waiting for stuff to happen, <laughs> waiting for things to get better. I know, I've done the readings and I'm a Sag, so I can see it. Um, I feel like there was a little bit of a reprieve here a month or two ago, but let's see. <sighs> Deep breath, everybody. What is going on for Saggies? One more. That was a sloppy, sloppy. There we go. All right. All right. Yep, yep. All right, that feels pretty good. All right, Knight of Pentacles underneath. There is a manifestation coming of... Um, Lifetime partnership could be Leo. I also feel like you have some Scorpio here, but look at this ace of pentacles. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right. So something very powerful is coming in. This is unseen. This is coming from, you might be manifesting this coming from your subconscious, whatever. And, uh, some of you might not see it coming. It's just suddenly here. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio six of pentacles, the moon, Oh my goodness, Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, there you are, Judgment, Star, that's Aquarius Energy, Three of Pentacles, Hierophant, yes, look at that, this is a long-term partnership, so subconscious, conscious, you're, kn you're knowing it, all right, um, I do feel like you take, you're taking a new direction right now. Okay, and um, some of you may be traveling, some of you may be um, kind of out and about, but like for a long time, you may have had relationships recently or the last, I don't know, couple of years that have been really out of balance. All right. And, you know, that's such a hard thing to live through where you're not really into it. They're not really into it, but it's like. There's some, you know, one of you might be more into it than the other. And there's just this, that just doesn't feel good. Okay. On either side of that equation, it just does not feel good. Now, a lot of the reason you were attracting those people is because you were afraid of the real deal, afraid of someone who is open and loving and would go deep and would be, you know, ready to commit and all this kind of stuff. That may scare the shit out of you. So, <laughs> so Sag, if you're, if you have been out of balance and you've been in this place of like running away from things, like things get too commitment oriented and out you go. I feel like you've had so much of that, that this, <coughs> sorry about that. He's waiting for a friend to show up. So <laughs> it's like every little sound. Rah! Okay. Okay. Uh, only does that when, when a, per a particular doggy is coming. All right. So I do feel like, uh, you've had some rough going. This is definitely a new kind of relationship, something that's healed, something that's mature, something that's ready, uh, for you. And that fear, I just feel like, um, you might be kind of like, what was I so afraid of? What was I so afraid of? Why was I... Why was I attracting partners that weren't really capable of a commitment? Because I wasn't capable of commitment, right? That's what you're attracting. You're a mirror for that. So the moon is definitely a mirror, a reflection. Um, we're going through a um, we're going through eclipse season right now. We have the moon in Scorpio, full moon in Scorpio in the middle of the month, and that is about change and transformation here with the death card. It's like you're getting more courage or something like that. You're kind of like, why, don't, why am I afraid of this? I'm going to go toward this. So 
there is this decision here right in the middle and then there's this beautiful healing this is hope this is joy this is like this is what i want to create this manifestation um what you're releasing on this full moon in scorpio what is you're overcoming is that fear all right really releasing fear around relationships i like this three of pentacles because it says to me that you've done you've made some effort you've done some work for yourself you've seen your own resistance you're kind of understanding yourself a lot better and so now i feel like you're ready hierophant lovers star the moon so let's see leo scorpio um pisces aquarius taurus gemini all right i'm going to clarify a couple things i'm going to clarify the judgment card please clarify the judgment card oh lovers again lovers page of wands and the ace of wands um this is definitely a choice there's something about sex here there's something about intimacy and that has been part of the fear is like letting someone see you or letting some like really see who you are and that's been part of the fear okay um there's something here about intimacy that is now look it, it looks like a good thing to you whereas in the past it might have been like woo run away run away jeff definitely gemini energy very loud okay what about the moon clarify the moon for me clarify the moon oh yes tower star i love it five of cups empress and the ten of pentacles we got the ten of pentacles again this is an a, an opportunity for a long-term partnership here and this does i like the taurus energy here taurus and gemini so there's definitely some flirtiness gemini is very flirty um taurus is not flirty taurus i like this it's kind of like grounded flirtiness so this person is not going to fly away you're not going to fly away um it's all being grounded by what it is that you value and i feel like the taurus energy is a lot about what we've what we think is important and so we have north node in taurus right now and so we're deciding what's important and discovering the truth for ourselves and breaking new trail making decisions that are kind of um a new direction all right and that's what's coming up here i do feel like there is some kind of healing of old hurts all right so that that's really where the moon has been for a long time kind of licking your wounds and being like well it's okay if i'm just alone if i'm just you know that's totally fine like i don't i don't need anybody i don't really care about that it's not a thing you know whatever it is like now there's this sense of taurus and libra i want balance and grounding i want to create something long lasting you know i want someone who's my partner and i want something that's real i don't want it to be um just flirty just sex i don't want any of that i just want it to be real okay so that's what's happening for sag i'm gonna take i'm gonna keep going on this and see where we go i like that this is all your decision there's judgment card which is coming up to a moment of choice this is the choice card too the lovers is a choice card the past you might have not felt like it was your choice it is now your decision if you want to move forward toward a relationship there is one waiting for you okay so that's for sag link is below if you want to continue on with me sag otherwise capricorn reading starts right now all right cappies this is your mid-month check-in let's see where we go what are the energies for capricorn sun moon rising and venus or venus if this doesn't uh resonate with you check out your moon rising or venus sign okay you got all 12 right here in this handy dandy video all right <laughs> put this down here so don't knock it over I have a tendency to go like this a lot and over she goes ass over tea kettle all right what's going on for Capricorn far away places get ready for new horizons get the big picture wow hmm view from above infinite abundance I like that are you are you ready are you ready for this infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life this says to me with that get ready for new horizons the big picture 
I feel like there's a little bit of like pull back if 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 you are feeling like you are trying to get to the core of something the way to do it is to pull back it's just almost like pull the camera out all right and so you can see more you can get a, a better sense of things i think you might be um in a situation now where you're looking very very intently at one particular facet of a situation whether it's relationship or your work it's time to th um i don't know think bigger yeah i think so think a little bit bigger and it is time to kind of pull back from that place of tunnel tunnel vision here all right so let's see if that's if that's for you all right yeah underneath is the judgment card definitely radiating that same energy fool wow knight of pentacles five of cups three of wands six of wands temperance sun ah three of swords king of cups hmm so there's a couple of cards here about disappointment all right there's a couple of things here but there's also this kind of victory feel to me like there's this new day like you're taking a risk on something which is I feel like is is directed by your spirit guides if you don't realize that you're being spoken to that you're being directed uh i want to uh tell you you are and if you think you are i want to validate that for you so this does feel to me a little bit like um instead of how do i say this to you instead of okay, I'm on this new path and I'm going to put in the same, you know, sort of 20th century, like nose to the grindstone, uh, shoulder to the wheel, like all of these kinds of rub some dirt on it philosophies. That's not going to really get you anywhere in this new place. Okay. This is a new beginning for you. This is a new way of doing it. So whether it's relationship or it's, um, your work or something, this is a new day, a brand new day and don't go down the road of how it used to be or how you used to do things. So if you've just gotten yourself a new job or you're getting yourself a new job or you're starting your own business or you're starting, something new is coming in, you're looking at it from a bigger perspective. Even if your life is the same, right? Okay, I have the same person in my life, I have the same job, I have the same career. What's different is you. You're shifting how you're looking at things and that's going to change how you act on things. It's going to change your perspective. It's going to change your vibration. This is definitely about getting into much higher vibration and attracting in a lot more abundance. It's much more law of attraction than a kind of plow horse. All right. So you might have, as a Capricorn, you may have the natural tendency to and your philosophy may be all about, and this is just, you know, this is very one dimensional to, you know, talk to you like as if this is your whole being, which it's not. Uh, but, you know, you really put in the time and effort. You really feel that that's the only way to go. This new path is going to teach you that being in the feelings, being in the high vibration feels, being in the joy, okay, the sun here, being in this joy is what's going to get you what you want and not the hard work or effort that is a, a, a paradigm that time has passed over now it's high vibration feeling high vibration action so if you ever feel i don't want to do this i don't want to go to work today i don't want to put in the time and effort on this it's dragging or or you know, I've got to do it. I've got to do this. It's like an obligation. If you ever feel that, that's super low vibration. So what's going to be shown to you is it used to not matter. It used to not matter where you were coming from when you are uh, working with what's in your life. It used to not really matter. Um, but now that we have sort of elevated ourselves to this new level, this new kind of frequency, is becoming much more mainstream. It's also becoming much more our experience, right? We're all moving through this ascension. It matters now. So if you, it, just a small example, if you're feeling 
you know, you have a couple of friends and everyone's going out on a Friday night and everything and you're just not feeling it, don't push yourself. If you have a project that you're a client in front of you that is giving you the feeling like this is going to be a pain in the ass. This person is going to, um, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be able to work with this person or something. You're going to know this more early in the process and it will matter. You'll be able to be like, okay, not feeling this. I'm not going to do this. And I had a several clients. I was lucky enough to have, um, I did video marketing. I taught people about being on television. I pitched them to CNN and, and, uh, you know, the other channels. And I really, um, became very, I'm going to say the word is picky because I know if you choose a person or you choose a project or you choose a direction that requires you to put in more effort, like it's out of balance, put in the appropriate amount of work. And I think, uh, you know, Capricorn, you may have a tendency to really over, you know, be the overachiever and be, and after a while, you're going to see that that's not really what's necessary. Putting in the time and effort around getting into joy, getting into the high vibration feeling and doing all of that stuff, which you may have thought was a bunch of fluffy nonsense at one point. I think what's really going to happen for you is you're going to see that doing something from that high vibration, it's going to go smoother, right? You're going to meet, you know, you're in that high vibration, you're out with those friends on Friday night and you meet someone at this event or at this club or at this, this restaurant or something like that, they becomes a giant client. And because you're in this like good feel and it's a shift, it's a big shift. So it's also a shift, not just from, I'm, you know, nose to the grindstone stuff. It's more of a shift into your heart here. The Sagittarian energy and this King of Cups makes me feel like there might be somebody who's teaching you this. You could have a partner or a colleague or a friend of yours, my hair's crazy, who's doing, who's doing this, who's into the law of attraction. And you might've been like, I mean, heck, you're watching, heck, you're watching this video. I mean, you're here. So you must be at some point open to it. Of course you are. You're kind of seeing that pushing against the grain isn't going to get you anywhere. Okay. It's not getting you what you want to do. Instead, it's more Aquarian. It's more about big picture. It's more Sagittarian. And it's going to be easier to see now what's not going to work for you, which is great, which is great. I do see, I see Leo, I see Virgo, I see Sag. Let me get a couple of clarifiers on this Five of Cups. Five of Cups, King of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Justice card. So I see Libra here also. Um, it does feel to me like it's possible that in the past you didn't really see, you weren't really seeing um, these opportunities because you weren't in that high vibration or you were feeling like that was all nonsense or something. This is about expanding your horizons. Some of you might have been, you know, really focused on one type of person that's coming into your life or not coming into your life. You might've been focused on one type of career or something like that. This is really expanse about expanding. All right. And that's going to bring you some balance. I feel like this new energy that's coming in really beautiful energy is going to help you feel more balanced. Three of swords, <clears throat> three of swords. Okay. Yeah. Five of pentacles, nine of pentacles, knight of wands and the high priestess. It's possible, this might not be for all of you, but some of you may have had a really bad experience, okay? Uh, gone through a divorce, someone, you know, re it was really tough, really ugly, and, um, you know, like on this new path now, there's something about building your confidence back, um, building your, you know, not wanting to get taken for a ride, not wanting to, you know, uh, there's a little bit of fear here, okay? But deep down inside, uh, the person that's coming in or the new opportunity here, you'll just know it. And so this is also about learning to trust 
your intuition more than what you see in the physical. This is definitely about like, okay, I didn't, I didn't honor my, my intuition and I dated this person who turned out to be, you know, a total flake or a total cheater or someone who has no integrity, right? Like I, I kind of went down that road. I took a job I shouldn't have taken. It was turning me into, you know, a terrible person to be around or something like that. There could be a little bit of fear about this new path. Like I don't want to recreate what I've already had in my life, especially if it was painful. Okay. So you're not going to, this, this new vibration is going to take you out of that. I like that. So we see Sag here, Virgo, Sag, Leo, Virgo, Sag, Leo, uh, uh, Pisces and Libra. So those are what's showing up. Those could be people in your life or opportunities. I'll get some cards around those. If you want to check it out, link is below Capricorn. Otherwise, the Aquarius reading starts right now. All right, Aquarius, you are up. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Of course, your progressed sign, too, if you know what that is, your secondary progression, how your sun sign matures. We'll talk about that more in another video. Uh, let's see where we go here for Aquarius. All right, this one jumped out, so I'll, I'll take that. And um, this and this. Okay, so fellow fellow travelers, this one jumped out in the middle here. Ah, beautiful, discovering truth. So Aquarian. <laughs> Valiant courage. Take action with passion. So Aquarius. This makes me feel uh, like you're right in your correct path or your correct groove or something. Um some of you may have people around you that you may be questioning whether they're uh, your peeps or not. So there might be some kind of, um, of moment in time when you discover the truth about that, all right? And uh, there might need to be some action taken, all right? Just saying, that's for somebody. Is someone with you or are they against you? Time to know. You will know. <laughs> this month, you will know. All right. Underneath is the King of Cups Tower. What did I just say about this? Uh, some kind of uh, some kind of awakening here. Oof. Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Oh my goodness. Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Death card transformation here. Uh, I do feel like you have good intentions, all right? Underneath is this King of Cups, and you may discover that they're, what I was just saying to you about fellow travelers, some of you may be realigning your path moving forward. Some of you may be discovering that there's something new you want to go toward, Ace of Cups, and if there are people in your midst that are not with you, like, they will show themselves, okay? It's like, they will show themselves and some of you might be moving on in a new direction. Okay. Um, I do, this is very much about regrets and about anxiety. This is mostly, this is mostly, uh, in your thinking and your feeling. I don't really think it's in your, uh, has anything to do with your money or has anything to do with that. I think this is just about like a feeling of loyalty or not loyalty. All right. There's something coming up about that. I feel like, um, you might be releasing the burden. Uh, if you have been carrying the burden for, for, let's just say this, if you have been carrying a burden, okay, who cares who it's for, even if it's for you, it is time to release that. It is time to walk away, turn your back on it, transform, change, move, move on. Because this is being offered to you. There's there's this very beautiful energy of the Ace of Cups kind of hovering this reading of like, okay, you have to get through this purge moment. And as I'm doing this, we are right on the, right in the beginning energy of the full moon um, in Scorpio. All right, so this full moon could really have a purging effect. Let me get some some clarity around that, this full moon coming up. 
All right, let's see. Three of Cups, Chariot, Devil Energy, King of Pentacles. Okay, Moon and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, okay. So especially if you are someone who's, who is successful or uh, becoming successful, there might be some jealousy around that. Other people, yeah, this is definitely jealousy. So it's like pay attention to, to people around you. If you're having some success in life, um, are other people feeling like they no longer have power? There's something like that, okay? And I feel like this this um, energy that's around is something that you're picking up on, okay? You're definitely picking up on the truth, all right? The truth here. And I do feel like Three of Cups, Chariot, Capricorn, and uh, Devil Energy, it makes me feel like you haven't seen this. You haven't been seeing it. All right. So it's been an illusion while you've been building, while you've been doing your thing. Okay. Um, and Capricorn and um, Cancer are showing up now. This is public private. This is mother, father. And it is about a little bit about maybe you're choosing a new family, choosing a new direction, choosing something to go toward a uh, knight of wands that is taking you away from this. Okay. It's taking you away from this feeling that someone is about to stab you in the back or something like that. Why is the seven of swords here? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right. Look at that. Well, I don't know if this came out in reverse or not, but it's interesting because the hangman is the, the only card in reverse in the upright. Okay. So, um, this is about taking action and surrendering, like finally doing it. I feel like for a while you've been, oh, oopsie, not that. <laughs> you've been kind of feeling like, do I act on this or don't I act? And with the emperor here, I feel like it's the time to act. All right. There's a time to act here. And um, let me keep the seven of swords is what I'm looking for. Somebody could be very controlling. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could be very controlling, okay? Could be, uh, oh my gosh, wow. There's just this crazy energy of jumping. So I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep rolling because that's how it feels to me that this is like, things just keep jumping out at you. Um, you may have been a little bit blind to this person. You may have not attributed them or, or um, attributed to them any kind of energy of negativity or anything like that but they want to keep control. That is their main goal is to stay in control. And I do feel like some of you, this could be a, a life partner. Some of the, some of you, this could be, uh, sorry about that microphone. Uh, this could be somebody who you're married to or somebody who you're uh, have a partnership in or something like that. And for them, it's really all about staying in control. So if it's gotten out of control a little bit, um, in whatever way that means to that person, it doesn't mean it has to be real. It just means the perception is that something is, something is out of balance and they're trying to create balance for themselves. I feel like you have a new opportunity coming in ace of cups to really change this game. Uh, an eight of cups, three of wands, death card makes me feel like you're really turning the page here. Um, putting down this burden. Some of you may have been um, taken advantage of by somebody and now you're really seeing it. Now you're really seeing it. They're trying to regain control. They might have let you think you're in control this whole time, but in reality, they, f they feel like they're, tr they're uh, they can do something and it will trigger you or they know how to play you. I just don't think you really thought this person was that kind of person. I think you deep down thought this person was kind of loving and, and legitimate and everything like that, but they have a, they have a relationship to control, um, that is different than yours. And it's even if they're not doing it on purpose, I, you know, I do feel like that's how they feel comfortable is to stay in control. And so if things have gotten somehow out of balance, they're going to work to put it back into balance. And it might be at your expense. So that's why you're being shown that it's time to wake up from this sleep 
of they're all about you or they are not triggered by anything that you're doing or anything like that. And that's not true. People act out of who they are. So if you're having someone who is trying a little bit to control you, it's really because they feel out of control. Okay. So let's shift a little bit into, oh, okay, well, that's why this person is doing it. It really is, says nothing about me, has nothing to do with me. But what has to do with you here is that you see it. Okay. You see it and you're discovering this truth and then courage is required. All right. Courage, Camille. Um, there is a little bit of, of um, animosity here between the two of you uh, or some kind of control battle that I'm not sure where that came from. Um, but anyway, it's, um, it's not a good thing. So it needs to be, it needs to be eradicated or it needs to be moved on from. Please clarify the death card for me. Six of Swords, Star. There you are, Aquarius. Hierophant and the Two of Swords. I think you're moving on from this partnership. I do. I think you're moving on from this because of the Two of Swords here. Somebody could be wanting you to marry them or wanting you to make something official. And I feel like that's the moment. That could be the tower moment when you're like, oh, uh, no. There's something new here. This person is trying to make a new start by making something more solid. The king and queen of pentacles, making it more real, making the commitment be more stable or more long term. Okay, so this is Mercury retrograde that we're talking about here. For the rest of May, we are in Mercury retrograde until uh, June 3rd. And be careful about signing any kind of contracts. All right. I don't think you really want to do that, especially not with this person because, and, and, and if you decide not to, all right, if this person presents you with like, let's make a commitment, let's move in together, let's get married or something like that. I would wait until just, you know, one of the, one of the tests of, of, um, and I hate to bring this up, but I just feel like this person is sneaky and it's sneaky because they are trying to be in control. They're trying to maneuver things. Uh, I don't see the five of swords, but I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that I don't see the five of swords. I see the seven of swords and the five of cups about like your reaction to someone trying to um, gerrymander things or something like that. Um, but, you know, since we are in this Mercury retrograde, it really is time to not not do anything about it and you know realize that people act out of who they are they really really do so um you might get asked to be a partner or something like that and i think you're going to oh what i was going to say sorry i lost my train of thought there for a second um i was not going to bring this up but i will now is that the single most effective test for narcissistic personality or narcissistic tendencies is to say no. Just see the reaction you get if you say no. All right, so it's likely this person is trying to make a new day begin, a next level relationship. I don't really feel like that's something you wanna do. I feel like you might be okay with how it is, but actually when you look at it, you're doing all the work. They've created the situation where you're doing all the work. It's time to wake up to that. Okay, so I see Aries. <laughs> I see Aries here, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. There you are, Aquarius, and I see Taurus here. All right, so I'm gonna look at those signs. If you're dealing with any of those signs, it could be a sun, moon, rising, or Venus, then we'll talk about those in the extended. And Aquarius, if this is your reading, I'm going to keep going with this. There's a link below. Otherwise, the Pisces reading starts right now. Well, hello, Pisces. This is your reading. So let's see what's going on for you for mid-May. What is happening? The energies around you. Let's see where we go. All right. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. 
fellow travelers. Valiant courage. Interesting. Great adventure. Take a risk. All right. Take a risk. Venture forward. I've been seeing that quite a bit in these readings. Um, that there is something that's going to be offered to you, but you might feel a little bit like, should I do this? Should I not do it? Um, it could be taking a financial risk, could be taking a, a personal risk. And it does have something to do with um, moving your life forward. I, I, I feel like you might even have some people around you who are, you know, you feel are very supportive of you. Um, it's almost like you don't want to leave this cozy group, this cozy place, uh, but you are being asked to do that. Okay, you are being asked to venture forward. All right, so let's see. Let's see where we go here with this. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, sorry. Eight of Cups, that's where that came from. And this Hierophant. So some of you may be um, opening up to a new kind of belief system or new kind of philosophy. Uh, I mean, anything from adding a yoga practice to changing your religion or your political affiliation. There's some kind of inspiration that is leading you in the direction of a teacher. On a very basic level, some of you could be traveling to see a teacher, um, somebody you know, going to a conference, you want somebody that you want to see speak. All right, Page of Cups, Empress, Strength card. So far I have Taurus, Libra, more Taurus, and Leo. Aquarius right here in the middle. Isn't that beautiful? Page of Wands. I like the page energy here. It feels nice and light and with the sun with the um uh with the star card there. That's beautiful. This is a calling. I feel like you're getting um it's not a new calling. It's sort of like a I'm not gonna say continuation either, because that sounds oh. kinda lame. Uh it's not a continuation. It's sort of like little things here and there are being offered to you and they are part of this new adventure. So you might not be putting together, putting the dots together right now. Um, this beautiful energy of page of cups could be some kind of lighthearted invitation. This beautiful empress energy about really, you know, connecting with your, um, heart connecting with your divine feminine these are both Divine Feminine cards, so if you are Divine Feminine, it does feel a little bit like you are being um, invited. You're being invited to something that does have to do with a teacher, a healer, a guide, a mystic, a shaman. And I do feel like that's going to be of, maybe it's going to cost you money or it's going to cost you, um, you're going to have to work harder for this than you might have ever worked hard before. Three of Wands and the Star card is about um, healing. Page of Wands. Some of you also may be becoming a healer, a teacher, a guide. And there are people around you. You might be struggling to like, I don't really think I can be public being a shaman. Uh, especially if I'm like running the marketing department for my local grocery store. You might be like, um, what are my employers going to think about this? But here's the thing, you're really, um, you should be listening on some level, doing meditation or something like that, because your calling is coming, all right? You're going to really know by the end of this month what you should be doing, what you should be pursuing. I feel like you get these little breadcrumbs here and there. A lot of times I say breadcrumbs or I talk about breadcrumbs and people just hear breadcrumbing and they think it's another person that's breadcrumbing them. I'm saying to you that the universe has been breadcrumbing you, but not in a way that drags you along without any um, positive thing. This is like the universe is trying to get you to see your calling. And some of you, um, what's going on um, subconsciously is that you are already headed toward your calling. Uh, you could be let's just say you could be inspired to go to some conference or you're like, oh, look at that person speaking or you get something in your feed that is like a, a class or a course being offered by a person that you really admire, right? Mind Valley, something on Mind Valley that is like 
catching your attention. Do it. Okay, that's what's being asked of you here. These are healing breadcrumbs. <laughs> healing breadcrumbs that are bringing you um, to your work, to your next um, profession. This is, this is a calling that is your work. So a, some people, there's plenty of people on this planet that have a calling that has nothing to do with how they support themselves or anything like that. This calling is, I feel like um, some of you are overcoming a very different kind of life than this calling and it will take courage for you to step in. I don't want to leave my peeps. I don't want to leave my, my home or the thing I've created already. I don't want to do that. But this is really calling you to get to on the train, get to the next level of what you're here to do. This is part of your spiritual path, most definitely. Now, you might have people at your job who are not pro, but it's, it's almost like, who cares what they think? After a while, this calling is going to get louder and louder and louder. And after a while, you're going to be like, well, I don't know what to tell you. I got to go. Okay, so clarify the five of wands. Yep, that's right. Ace of swords, queen of cups, six of wands, and the eight of swords, emperor, and the seven of wands. Okay, so I see a lot of resistance here. I also see some resistance in your own belief that you can be this leader. So you might be drawn to going to see somebody at a conference, but really it's you that should be on the stage. At some point, you're going to be on the stage. You're going to be the person who is, people are coming to see, your calling is showing up. And I feel like what's around you are people who kind of are, there's a little bit of jealousy here. There's a little bit of, no, stay with us, you know, stay in this old life, stay in this comfort zone kind of thing. And eventually, I don't really think you're going to have a choice about this. I think the universe is going to say, you've got to move. Now, the emperor here about taking a risk, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe in. The next year and a half, we are in the middle of eclipse energy, which is activating the north node in Taurus. And I know you're Pisces and things like that, but especially if you have your north node in Taurus or in the second house or something like that, second house, eighth house, Taurus, Scorpio, if you have north node in any of those places, this is really what's calling you. That is the ping that's saying to you, hey come on, you got to get, you got to get to the next level. It is about taking a risk. This is about taking a risk. So you may feel a little bit like, oh my God, what's everybody going to think? Um, after a while, I don't think you're going to care. And I don't think, I don't think it's going to be relevant anymore. You might have childhood friends that are like, oh, you're like going to be a shaman. And then they kind of leave your life. It's not that they're making fun of you or anything like that. They are not in the vibration that you're in, that you're getting into. They're not there. And so that's part of this is really stepping into your calling is going to uh, bring about new friends, new connections, new beginnings. So embrace that part of it. Okay. And if people, if people fall away, let them fall away. Okay. So I'm going to continue on. But let's see where we go. Let's go more into the calling and what it might be. All right. I am going to look at Taurus and Libra and, and Leo and Aquarius and Aries. So it, that may, have, may or may not have anything to do with this reading. Uh, but if you're dealing with any of those people, I'll pull some cards around them too. Okay. All right. Link is below Pisces. I'll see you over there. All right. It's mid-May. What's going on for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's see where we go for you guys. Aries, I will be doing extended. Any zodiac signs that do show up, I'll explore them. They may or not may not have anything to do with the basic reading, or they may. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's just a shout out from a, <laughs> from a zodiac sign to you. All right, so let's see where we go here. Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to do it. So here we are. Rejuvenating rain. <clears throat> sometimes just happens like that impasse reflect and redirect your energy gates of triumph success expands in your life uh i almost feel like um when you least expect it like you need to be um 
You might feel like something's not going to happen and then all of a sudden it does. You might feel like this is a person that I'm never going to get together with them and then all of a sudden it does. Okay, so it's really important to just like turn your attention to something else. Don't get don't get obsessed with, you know, uh, if you want this new job or if you want this relationship. Don't get obsessed with it. Just be like, you know what? It's going to show up when it's going to show up. It's going to be here in its own good time. I know that's a very um, interesting energy for you. So let's see, Aries, what is, how are we looking at this? <clears throat> All right, underneath is this Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Uh, Queen of Wands and the Justice energy here of Libra, uh, the Justice card, Libra energy here. Some of you may have a, um, some of you may be walking a tightrope in your life right now. All right. I'm, that's all I'm going to say about that for one second here. Two of Wands, Hierophant, Knight of Cups. Yeah. See, when you least expect it, it's almost like you're not even looking. You're not even looking and this life partner shows up. Libra, Taurus. Raising Consciousness, Ace of Swords, wow, Queen of Pentacles, Life Partner, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords, mm, mm, mm. Okay, this is a cycle. So, not paying attention, this long-term partner shows up. I feel like you could uh, connect with this person based on a realignment of what you want in your life. I feel like you've been maybe beating your head against a wall for a while over something, over, uh, you know, a career path or a, a kind of life that you want to create. And it's just like, you know what? I've just got to focus on something else. Some of you could be meditating, could be learning how to meditate, could be learning how to how to balance yourself or your your energy or something like that and there's a person who keeps coming in and out of your life okay i'm i keep seeing this where they're here there's balance and then there's not right there's they're here there's balance and then they're not it has to do with money it has to do with position or it has to do with uh your ability to um, create change, their ability to create change, they might, they might be married. All right, but there's somebody here that just keeps popping in and out of your life. And I feel like you kind of have to put your foot down, right? Like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this. You're coming in and out of my life. If you're not going to change your life and it, that's why you keep coming in and out of my life, I don't want it. Could be flipped around. You could be the one who keeps dealing with a person um, who you know to be a life partner or you know to be the right person for you, but your current situation is a little too comfortable or something like that. Like you're not changing simply because the love of your life comes walking in. It's like, I'm going to need more. Okay. <laughs> Universe, I'm going to need more. And on some level, on some um, spiritual level or something like that, that's kind of a good thing because you're not settling for a situation that is a third party. You're not settling for that. So even at the moment where you're like, okay, this is the right person for me, you're not just going to let, let it be what it is. It's got to be what I want it to be or no dice. And I do feel like this person, um, you or this person, let me clarify the three of swords here. All right, clarify the three of swords. Four of wands, hanged man, king of wands. Oh, look at that, 10 of wands. You, I feel like this is you. I feel like you are stuck between a rock and a hard place here. You're definitely wanting to... Um, either get a divorce from a situation that's not going well, going toward this, maybe a twin flame even, and you feel very hung up by obligation. All right. There's something like, okay, I can't, I just can't, I can't. 
It might be children that have special needs. It might be um, it might be the commitment you made to this person and the community that you're in might be a very difficult choice for you to walk away from this community. <clears throat> Excuse me. It might be very tough. And so you're kind of like, well, I'm just going to take it all on my all in stride. What is this Ace of Swords? Ace, the Ace of Swords is right in the middle there. Ace of Swords is one week. Sun, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. So um, it's it does feel to me a little bit like somebody, there is some kind of confusion and you're cutting through it with this Ace of Swords. Cutting through this bullshit, like, I can't leave, is something that is coming out of your mouth. This person that you want to be with is going to be like, okay, I'm done then. It's not good enough. This half measure stuff is not good enough. And by doing what you have to do to get to be with this right person for you, you build a lot of self-confidence. You're building yourself. You're building yourself by looking the truth in the face and acting on it. This may take a few tries, okay? I'm just saying. I feel like you might have somebody come in and out of your life and um, you're finally ready. You're finally ready to take action on this, okay? You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Another fire sign. Taurus, yeah, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, okay? You're finally going to do this after, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You can't be in my life. Okay, get out of my life. Okay, somebody is going to leave the situation that is holding this connection back. That is coming, all right? I'm going to look at those signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Taurus in the extended. The link is below if you want to continue on and see what goes on with this. Or Taurus reading starts right now. Taurus, how are you doing? Welcome in. This is your uh, mid-May update, energy update. Let's see what's going on for you. This is Soul, soul Giraffe. I just saw the Soul Giraffe video or uh, uh, card. Uh, <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus. All right, let's see where you're going. What is happening for Taurus? <sighs> deep breath, everybody. Deep breath. Fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. I like that. You decided to wake up or else why did you draw me? Beautiful energy there. There are no wrong turns. So this is about taking a chance. Uh, somebody might be taking a chance on you. All right, and this is a big shift. This is a big shift. So let's see where we go here. Somebody might be taking a chance on you. All right, you're like waking up in the middle of this dream or you're waking up in the middle of someone taking, uh, go, coming toward you. Kind of waking up in the middle of a dream or something. Definitely getting that energy. All right, page of swords underneath. Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. This feels to, oh, look at this, lovers, okay, okay. Um, this feels to me like someone has been watching you, Taurus. Someone has been watching you and um, it's like they're coming toward you. Definitely, Three of Cups by Memorial Day, King of Pentacles, there you are. High Priestess, you know this. Deep down, you know, you can maybe can feel it coming. Um, Four of Swords, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, I see Cancer here, Page of Wands, Five of Swords, Leo, okay, Leo, Two of Wands, all right, so, um, the Strength Card, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Cancer, and this person, um, you could, you could meet this person at a party. I feel like you're just minding your own damn business, okay? 
And um, this is a bit of a surprise. This person may have secretly had a lot of feelings for you for a while, and they're um, only now making the, the presence known. They're going to take some action here toward you. This does feel to me like, um, I'm going to clarify this Five of Swords here. I don't like that too much. What is this Five of Swords? Two of Wands, again. Temperance, they're Sag. King of Wands, again. Eight of Pentacles. So this person is likely somebody from, um, from your work life, all right, or from a professional setting. Or something like that. You might have met them at, at like a networking event or um, or a, a, a healing conference. If you've gone to a healing conference, this person is traveling to you. Okay. If you are traveling to go to this conference uh, at the end of May, I do feel like um, you may feel thrown together. You may feel like someone is kind of picking up on the little uh, sparkly vibe and they're pushing you together in some way. You do feel a little bit like this is not me doing this. This is like my spirit guides doing this, or this is somebody who sees that we have a little spark going on. It is your choice though. Two of wands and two of wands here. The universe is trying to push you together. So they might use uh, a person or an event or something like that to get you in the same room. All right, I really feel like the universe is, is conspiring to, to get you into this new place. And you might feel that that's a little, like, you might feel like, is this really happening? Is somebody trying to manipulate this? I don't know why that's such a, such a big deal. Three of Wands. Okay, it's all about, okay, Aquarius energy, fool. Um... I mean, you don't have any, you, you might not do anything unless you write it down first. This is a very spur of the moment kind of thing. And it is breaking all kinds of boundaries. Uh, it might feel very risque. Okay. This person f is definitely a different kind of person that you, than you would be normally drawn to. Um, I feel like this person has a lot of passion and fire and is very attractive very attractive um i i just don't think you believe it i think you might be like i i can't believe this person is like gonna get on a plane and come and see me or something like that this might freak you out a little bit so if you're having an experience right now where things feel like they're going on around you like you might not have a lot of say in the matter or something like that. You might feel that you are at the mercy of things, not a victim really, because five of swords can be like, I am the one that's, that's doing this. I'm the one that's manifesting this. Um, and not as a victim, like, but some of you are dealing with a person who is super dynamic and they're like, I am not going to stop until so just beware because this person does have a lot of fire energy a lot of air energy they move fast they make decisions quickly and you might still be like back at uh, uh, you know uh 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 yeah <laughs> a little bit this person's gonna try to sweep you off your feet try to sweep you off your feet and you know whether you do it or not whether you go down this road with this person i feel like this there is there are no wrong turns is kind of saying to me that no matter what you do here there is a lesson to be learned from it so if you go if you start dating them there's a lesson there if you turn them down there's a lesson there if this person is um very dynamic and you feel a little bit like they're uh making me feel like i'm i'm being you know, kind of pushed around a little bit, there's a lesson there. So whatever this person is doing or not doing, I, I do feel like they're taking a lot of action. Two of wands and three of wands. I mean, Taurus, I think you've asked for this. I think you've asked for this kind of dynamism in your life. Now, some of you are 
focused on your work and money. Some of you are focused on abundance. You're really paying attention to that, intuitively paying attention to that. Um, this King of Wands is, a, it's possible they're a powerful healer, a teacher, a guide, somebody who has a lot of dynamic energy to them. I just feel you get like completely bowled over by this person. Really interesting. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Here's Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aquarius. Uh, hmm. Hold on. Gemini, Cancer, Sag. Right? We've got Sag and Leo here. So no Aries. Aquarius, Gemini, Aquarius. Right? So no Libra. Okay, so not all the air signs, not all the fire signs. Aquarius and Libra, um, Gemini and Sag, and uh, Cancer. Okay? So I will look at those signs in the extended and just see what we get for those. And at the very least, this is kind of expanding your potential, expanding your horizons, expanding. Um, and just know, it feels to me like that this whole situation could just sweep you off your feet. So um, be ready. <laughs> All right. There's a link below, Taurus, if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there.